Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Dunsberg, and Golden Harvest Agronomist in Southeast Iowa and Northeast Missouri. Today I want to discuss peak corn water usage in corn. I realize in my territory right now too much water is more of a concern than too little of water, but there are several areas across the corn belt, corn belt that are still experiencing that drought stress. So let's discuss it. The amount of water that corn requires each year will vary based on planting date, maturity group, and weather conditions. Higher corn yields require more water, more water transpiration and therefore more total water usage. Typically, for every inch of crop water use, corn yield will increase by approximately 17 bushels. Now, one inch of water per acre equates to just over 27,000 gallons of water. So a corn yield of 200 bushels is going to need roughly 550,000 gallons of water throughout the year. When silt loam and clay loam soils are at full field capacity, they will hold about two inches of water per foot of soil. So if your corn plants are able to root down six to seven feet, they will have access to 12 to 14 inches of water if those soils remain at full field capacity. This is why subsoil moisture is so important at the beginning of the year and especially during drought stressed years. When a crop's water demand exceeds soil water supplies, yield reductions can occur at any time during the crop life cycle. Any stress that occurs between V5 and V8 can result in fewer kernel rows, whereas stress from V8 to shortly before tassel can result in fewer kernels per row. Corn requires the most water during the week before tasseling and the following three weeks thereafter, typically through the blister stage of corn. These four weeks are when the corn plants are most sensitive to water stress. Corn plants will use just over 40% of their total water use during this time. Actually, water demand by corn is the absolute highest right before tassel. At this stage, the corn roots are nearly fully developed. The plant leaf area has been maximized, which is allowing the plant to be able to transpire water at really high rates. The average water use is 0.3 inches per day, but in some situations like high winds, high temperatures, and low humidity, crop use can be as high as 0.4 inches per day. So on average, during this time, you're looking at about two inches of water use per week. Drought stress ahead of silking can result in delayed silk development, and this delay results in pollen shed taking place way too early before silk emergence. Water stress during pop pollination will not only delay silking, but also reduce silk elongation. Fresh silks are typically about 90% water, and with temperatures greater than 95 degrees Fahrenheit, silks can die off or become non-receptive to pollen. Additionally, when temperatures uh, become greater uh, than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, pollen grains are killed. Drought stress during pollination ultimately results in poor pollination, results in fewer kernels per ear. During this time of development, corn yield is all about maintaining kernel counts on that ear. Significant yield reductions of up to 9% per day can occur if corn does not receive enough water to meet demands during this time. During the grain field period, daily water use will slowly decrease, but drought stress can still reduce yields, which is what we saw last year in 2020. Kernel abortion near the ear tip can continue to occur until kernels have reached uh, early dose stage around R4. Continued drought into the mid to late grain filling period results in decreased kernel weights and premature physiological maturity. In fact, once a corn plant reaches early dent at R5, kernel dry matter content is still only about 45% of the eventual final accumulation. The plant still needs roughly five to six inches of water to finish out. Intense drought stress can still reduce yields up to 5% per day at that time. And then once physiologi physiological maturity occurs, additional drought stress will have no impact on grain yield. Because drought stress typically coincides with higher than normal temperatures, the grain fill period is often reduced, further reducing yields. So that's a quick wrap on peak water usage in corn. Hope it was helpful. And once again, I'm Ryan Dunsbergen, Golden Harvest Agronomist, 
Thanks for watching.